Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. Now today we're going to be looking at the horse moving but in a slightly different way to the previous video and if you haven't seen that go on our channel and uh, you can pull it up and uh, you'll be able to see a horse moving in real time. Now I did ask on that video for people to comment, question and ask for things. And Natasha asked um, if we could maybe introduce some slow motion footage so that when I'm explaining what's going on, it makes it easier for people to see. So today, that's exactly what you're going to see. And uh, you're going to see the horse in walk and in trot. You'll see it first of all in real time. And then each segment will then show the same piece in slow motion and I will talk you through what's going on movement wise. So I'm not diagnosing, I'm just explaining how the horse is moving. And this is a horse with a few issues. So we're, we're trying to pick real patients for you that we can show you what's going on. So without further ado, um, we'll kick off with the first part. As the horse walks away, what I want to do is get my eye in and the first thing I notice is that the tail is held over to the left and that the head is hardly visible. If you look down at the hind limbs you'll see that the limb flight although initially it looks straight as the foot connects with the ground it's not. Now if we watch this in slow motion you get a much better feel for it. You can see that the backside lifts up and down but it lifts up higher on the left side than it does on the on the right the tail goes over to the right but if we look down at those hind legs look at the hock um, which is equivalent to our ankle which is sort of halfway up what you can see and you'll see that that cork screws every time the foot connects with the ground the head is hardly visible Hopefully this is making a little bit more sense. Um, now let's watch him walking towards us. Walking towards, not only is the head slightly lower, um, but you'll look at the neck and you'll see that there's a curvature in the neck called a scoliosis. Look at the, um, the limb flight in front and you'll notice it's base narrow. Now if we watch this again, Every time the front limb moves forward, you notice that the horse has to hoik its head up. Notice the belly roll, the abdominal roll, is more pronounced on the right than the left. And the, you have the feet are very base narrow in front for the size of the horse's chest. And the nose is pointing slightly out. The girl has got a very light contact on the lead rope. That's great, that covers the walk. Now let's see him in the trot. Uh, first of all, trotting away from the camera. Trotting away, the head generally is held up higher, um, but the tail is over to the right and the horse is meandering. If we watch this in slow motion, tail over to the right, head all over the place, base narrow behind um, as well as in front, limb flight in front, I can see a lot more dishing going on and that belly roll over to the right is, is even more pronounced. And now let's see the same thing with him trotting towards us. Watching it, the horse come towards us, you'll see that he also tries to nip the girl every now and then. Um, but he looks heavy in front. If we watch this again in slow motion, you can see that yes, he is trying to nip the girl, um, but that belly roll, I still think is slightly more to the right. Um, and you've got a lot of movement from the elbows and the knees, but not so much the shoulders. And that becomes more obvious in this view. Well, there you have it. Uh, we've seen the horse in walk, we've seen the horse in trot. We've seen it in real time and we've seen it in slow motion. Hopefully 
this has been of more help to you and hopefully Natasha this has really helped you get start to get your eye in um, please 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 do place more comments below this video please subscribe and please please in the comment section put things you would like to see in our further videos um, what I want to do is really sort of explain the things you want explained um, so please do that um, and until we see you again in the next video please stay safe and please stay healthy take care